Flight 1 6, confirm that. We're starting your rollouts too early. Am I? Yeah. Let me demonstrate one for you. King Air 6 0 Victor Papa, Albuquerque departure, ident. Victor Papa, ident. Southwest 3707, turn right heading 210 Vector for your descent, descend and maintain 10, Right 210, descend to 10,000, Southwest 3707. King Air Zero Victor Papa, radar contact four miles southwest of Double Eagle Airport. Climb and maintain one four thousand. You can get pretty aggressive with the rollout. Okay, it doesn't have to be real King smooth. King Air Zero Victor Papa, turn right heading two six zero. Join Victor two ninety one. Resume on navigation. Right turn heading two six zero. Join Victor two ninety one. Six zero Victor Papa. Southwest 3579, Albuquerque departure, radar contact, climb unrestricted, maintain flight level 200, no delay through 1111000 for company traffic. Southwest 3707, descend and maintain 8000. Descend 8000, Southwest 3707. Okay. Citation 1, Mike Bravo, contact Albuquerque Center 1, 2, correction 132.8 today. 328, good day, well, my problem, see it. <laughs> Going down? There you go. Lost a little. Lost a little, but your rollout was a lot better. Still feels like a two-stage rollout, doesn't it? Like yep. I turn and then I turn again. Yeah. A little better. A little better. All right, let's do a stall. Okay. Power off. Air shuttle 5893, Albuquerque departure, radar contact. Climb via SID up to flight level 200. Albuquerque at Brad, 643 November, I just want to make sure we're cleared, cleared uh, to turn back on course. Centurion 43 November, affirmative, proceed on course. Got it, thank Southwest 3707, okay. turn left, heading 180, and on that heading, the airport. What I do wrong? One, one miles. You what can I do better? You did that flaps. Uh, 180, airport site. Uh, Power off south 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 to landing configuration, right? Southwest do that again. Southwest 3707, uh, visual approach, runway 8, maintain 8,000 until turning final. When the stall breaks, go full, full power. Maintain 8, right away. Final southwest. Full power, car feed off, 10 degrees of flaps out. Okay. Amend altitude, climb via, except maintain one one eleven thousand for traffic. He just seemed a little slow on adding power there. Yeah. I'll just back up to 7.5 and then we'll do it again. Approach cast 58.78, whip, golf, level one five thousand, head one. Other than that, I mean, you held your heading really well. You slowed down. Turn right heading Perfectly. Two zero zero vector for your descent, descend and maintain one zero ten thousand. Expect visual approach, runway eight. It's just the setup, which is really common after taking a little break. Yeah. You Got forget him. exactly how to set up for everything. Got to think about it too much. 93 traffic, 12 o'clock, 6 miles off the All right, the pick a spot off the nose to hold your heading to. Oh, one of those North peaks off in the distance or something. Miles off yep. the direction, regional jet one one eleven thousand. Power back. In the white air, you can start adding flaps. 
Southwest 3707, contact tower 120.3. And then started descent at 65 knots. Southwest 3579, contact Albuquerque Center 124.32. Yep, keep descending at 65. Is King Air Zero. Imitating coming into land, right? Center at 64, you're get, that's going to be your ground. 124.32, so, okay. level off here. Power to idle, level, level off. 10, then pull altitude. Care flight 16, radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Care flight 16, thanks for your help. There you Air go. 5893 traffic. Power cut, you know, level 200. Right there you go. Bust your heading a little bit. But yeah. Do um, you know why you lost your heading? I don't. Because when you added the power, you didn't add the right rudder, ah, uh, which I'm showing brings our heading back in, right? Because we've got all those left turning tendencies coming in, as soon as you add the power, you get the torque Altimeter on the plane to the left. Torques you hard left. Yep. The P factor, since we're at a weird pitch. The, uh, asymmetrical thrust, all that good stuff. Centurion 4th of November, stop altitude squad. You want more? Altitude differs by huh? more than 300 feet. You want more, you said? Yeah. That cool? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Again, for 6643 November. Centurion 4th of November, for now, stop altitude squawk. Altitude differs by more than 300 feet. Roger, right, thank you. Airport in sight, Skies 5878. Skies 5878, roger. All right. And you can use 75 this time. 43, contact Albuquerque Center 124.32. And power idle. Level off. And doing that visual on your point out there. Pull the right runner. Sky is 5878, descending, maintain 7,600, 7,600. Send 7,600, scale 58, 78. Still lost like about 10 degrees, huh? Yep. Let me demonstrate one for you. Turn us around to the south. Okay. One thing that'll help you with your heading holding during, or during the lead up to the stall is uh, you don't have to go real steep with this one. Okay. You can just keep it level and you'll bleed off all your airspeed or whatever. You know, get into your flare really is what we're trying to simulate, right? So I'm yanking back way too much then. Yeah, so I was losing the horizon. Yeah. This one you can really keep the horizon in view. Okay. And uh six six four and three November. Just work with it like that. Seven eight, you still have the field in sight. Nine o'clock and one one mile. Insights, guys, fifty eight seventy eight. Alright. Have we got controls? Your controls. Your controls. Clear for the visual runway, it's guys fifty eight seventy eight. Alright, I'm gonna use that weird mountain right there. Light arc. Flaps in, watching that point out there, just hold my altitude. Centurion 439, thank you. Speed. No problem. Full flaps. Descending at 65 knots. At 75, we go. Powered idle. Level off. November Golf has golf at uh, double equal strength. Helicopter 3 November, Mike, thank you. Holding that Sky point out there. Contact tower one two zero point three. One two zero three is guest fifty eight seventy eight. Good day. Morning departure eclipse at five one two Mike Bravo with you. Break. Six thousand full power. Turning one nine or zero. Repeat off. Five one two Mike Bravo Albuquerque departure. First ten degrees of five. Climb on course. Cancel altitude restriction. And uh, so as soon as it broke and I added power, as I was adding power, I was just adding that right rudder to get it to kind of stay. Okay. And then, you want to get your speed up.
to be Y to climb out, right? And then you start pulling out your flaps. One thing I noticed is you were accelerating too much. You're getting up to 80, 90 knots. And not actually getting a climb set up. Alright, okay. Morning. Uh, Trying to do too much. Eight, yep. Too to much too quickly. Or you want yep. Alright. So. Storm five five Roger. Expect overhead runway eight. Power carb heat. Storm five five. Thank you. And then wait for a climb to start bringing flaps out. Yep. So. Uh, bring your power back to seventeen hundred with the carb heat. Seven thousand five hundred. Plan the right brake. In the wide arc, you can start adding flaps. Storm 55 fly present heading vector for sequence descend and maintain one Hold that 12,000 point that you started with I have more flaps and the all the flaps there you go all right hold that point go ahead pull power to idle just level off So really all we're trying to do here is just hold altitude. Okay. And you don't have to go crazy high in the... Yeah, because it's going to slow down enough, right? Right. 120415, squawk VFR, 483 for Mike. Thank you, sir. Just keep holding that. Maybe pull back a little bit more. There you go. Power, right rudder. There you go. Watch your speed. Don't want to pull back too much while you're doing this because you could restall, right? Centurion 43 November, contact Albuquerque Center 132.8. Uh, that was better. November. A little more controlled. Yep. Yeah, it took forever to stall. Storm yep, <laughs> it does. Just shows you these planes want to fly. Oh know. yeah. Especially this one. This one's crazy. Yeah. Um, Alright, get back up to 7.5 and we'll do a power on stall. Okay. Approach Eclipse to 2 Mike Bravo, uh, we cleared on course. Eclipse 2 Mike Bravo, affirmative on course. On course approved, 2 Mike Bravo. Storm 55, five, turn left, heading Power on is simulating taking off. Yep. So I'm I'm still a little slow, right? I'll I'll be 70 range. So we'll we'll pull the power. Hold up. Hold our altitude. And our point. And we're just holding altitude, burn enough airspeed. At about 60 knots, we'll go full power. Okay. Maybe not full power. But bring it up into the green arc. And then we'll pitch up for the stall. Like you know, 15, 20 RDF degrees, uh, something like that will work. Southwest 1027, plan RNAV Zulu, runway 3, approach. Thank you. Losing altitude. There you go. Alright, there's 60-ish. Go ahead, bring the power up into the green. Something like that will get it to a stall can, or a stall attitude. I remember you got all that power in there, you got a little bit of right rudder. There you go. Southwest 1027, delete altitude restriction, descend via the arrival. Descend via the arrival, with no restriction, southwest 10%. Oh, a little 
little bit of right right there. Five, five, descend and maintain 8,000. Yeah, it just wants to hang on the prop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as it started to, to buff it, I could feel that right wing just wanting to drop. To drop first, yeah. Yep. And, uh, is that because I have right rudder in? The fighting the, um, the, the torque? Is that why it wants to go right uh, first? Yeah, we might have had just a little bit too much right rudder in. Just release it as you go. As you break, I think, yeah. But that was pretty good. Takes a while to to all. Yeah, I mean, you can you can do it more aggressively, like here. We'll demonstrate an aggressive one. Okay. Five, five, heading three, five, but, zero, zero, I mean, four, there's really four, no reason one, one, to. Storm 55 five, cleared visual approach, runway 8, descend to pattern altitude and proceed to the initial. Contact tower no, we can three, bring five, it up to one, 20, nine, 20 degrees of pitch. And then it just breaks pretty quickly. But there's really no reason to, unless you just want to get it over with. <laughs> yeah. Doing that might freak out the examiner just as much as, you it's know, going. a wing dropping or something, because yeah. they think, oh no, he's just going to keep pitching, pitching, pitching. Yank the yoke yeah. out of his console. Yeah, pretty much. And so just like setting it right at 15 and, you know, keeping pulling back as you slow down, uh, might be better. Southwest 1027, cleared RNAV, Zulu, runway 3, approach. Cleared RNAV, Zulu, 3, approach, Southwest uh, 1027. Down here by the train track. Oh, yeah. friend texted me, she was freaking out because some plane was doing patterns over their house. I said, is that normal? I'm like, uh, I don't know where you live, so it might be. And it depends. Depends but, on where you live. Yeah. He's off at like South Broadway though. I'm like, eh, maybe the practice area was pretty full and somebody just wanted to do some stuff, but no, that's not a normal South spot. Broadway. Yeah, like, I don't know, like maybe, uh, you know where the where the where twenty five turns like that yeah. down in that area. I mean, tower could have just had somebody circling, waiting to get in. Yeah, true. Is it normal? No. I mean, does she see it every day? No. So it's not normal. Yeah. But, but there's nothing there, wrong with it. Yeah. If there was something wrong with it. Albuquerque departure. Jerky 7342 Juliet, Albuquerque departure, radar contact, line really? on course. On course, 42 Juliet. They just got out of the airport? What time were they going? I think they started at 8, and they were out at the plane when we were leaving. Oh, really? Yeah. That was like almost an hour ago. <laughs> right? Because I think we took off at like 820, 825, something yeah. like that.
aircraft, they could get it started. I don't know. Hopefully that wasn't the problem because I'm taking that plane next. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Alright, let's get some slow flight. Right. How do I set this one up? Uh, so you'll pull your power back, we'll get it to uh, oh, 55 knots or so. If the stall part comes on, we'll bring it the speed up a little bit. But I think 55 will be good. Try and hold my altitude. Yep, hold your altitude, hold your heading. And then um, we'll be using pitch for help, or pitch for airspeed power for altitude. Southwest 1027, contact tower 120.3. 20.3, Southwest 1027, good day. Aircraft 24 miles north of Albuquerque Sunport, southbound VFR at 8000, are you on frequency? Hope they are, they should be. Well, oh, they're 20 miles north of Albuquerque. Attention all aircraft, uh, caution for rocket activity. Two nautical miles in radius on the Albuquerque 359er radial, 18 mile DME fix at and below flight level 210. Wow. So, that 20 miles north of the VOR. Oh. Aircraft 21 miles. Of that VOR? Correction. Say yeah. one, one miles north of Double Eagle Airport, VFR at 7,800. North of uh, Double Eagle there? somewhere? Oh, Alright. So, we're descending, right? We'll add some power, and then we'll just pitch for our airspeed. Southwest 1864, Albuquerque departure, radar contact, climb unrestricted, maintain flight level 200. Uh, unrestricted 200, Southwest uh, 1864. Sub our climate, uh, 7,500. Okay. By just pulling a little bit of power back and then lowering the nose to keep our airspeed upright because we don't have as much thrust.
Not doing that very. <laughs>